These pre-orders were a disaster. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Control video. The last couple of weeks were the pre-order dates for both the Series X and the PS5. Um, so I figured in this video, we can talk about it a little bit, just to uh, talk about my experience that I had on each of these days. Won't be uh, too long, but let's get into it. So let's start with the Sony PS5 pre-orders. So this one was wild, I gotta say. Let me take a step back real quick. Um, I was doing a live reaction with Mondo from PlaySesh of the PlayStation 5 event. And towards the end of the event, we noticed that they didn't tell us what the pre-order date was. Did they even tell us when we could pre-order this thing? Uh, no, they did not. They just said the, the price and the, the date. That's it, minus five. Right after we finished recording, I picked up my phone. I don't know what made me do this, but I called my local GameStop and I just quickly asked, hey, are you guys taking pre-orders for the PS5? And the guy's like, uh, yeah, we are actually. So I said, great, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I walked right in and I said, hey, are you taking pre-orders for the PS5? He said, yeah, it just opened up, come right in. I decided to go with the PS5 all digital, mostly because one, I don't think $100 is worth the difference of a disc drive. That's the first thing. The other thing is I figured that if I'm gonna get the Xbox Series X, that one has a uh, ultra high disc Blu-ray drive in it. So I don't necessarily need the one in the PlayStation 5. It's gonna suck when it comes to uh, physical games. I don't always play them. I really try to go all digital as best as I can. But every once in a while you get these sales or things like that, or maybe you have a friend that might have the game. He can let you borrow it. So that's kind of like why I want the disc drive, but I don't need it. Does that make sense? And then here's the other thing. I think that there is going to be a mid-gen refresh, and I'm pretty sure that one is going to, if not the same options, digital or physical, whatever the case is. I figure, let me go $400 now, and then whenever there is that mid-gen refresh, I'll get the physical then. I'm, I'm going to have to get it anyway for you guys so that I can unbox it and review it and all that stuff. So that's why I figured this time, let me just go with the cheaper one for now. Now, with the Xbox Series X, this one, <laughs> this one was supposed to be planned and it was supposed to be a lot better than the PS5 uh, pre-order launch. Now, admittedly, having a pre-order window set in stone was a good idea. Um, but it, at the end of the day, everyone tried to order online and had the same issues that they had when they were trying to pre-order the PS5. Stores were out of stock. It would say it's in your car and then it's really not. And then it would say you have too many when you actually have none. It was a whole big mess. Now, because I knew that the PS5 went through all that madness, I didn't want to do the same for the Xbox Series X. Or at the very least, I knew that the pre-order uh, time was at 11. So worst case, if I'm online, let's say at GameStop or wherever, if I'm online, I can try and get it on my phone really quick. And if I get it, I walk out. If I don't, I'm, I'm in line. I woke up at 5 a.m., I think it was, 5 a.m., drove out to that same GameStop, and there was already a line of, I think it was seven people, I think it was. So I said, all right, that's cool, seven people, I'm still early, you know? And I pull in, as soon as I get out the car, they told me, hey, there's a sign on the door that says the quantities. And when I went to go look, it said Series X, quantity five series s quantity two and obviously there were seven people online nothing i could do the quantities were spoken for um at that point i just jumped in my car this is 5 a.m now still jumped in my car drove out to the next nearest GameStop. i pulled up to this one i didn't even bother getting out i just rolled the window down and i said hey is there enough and the people online, uh, a couple of them just basically shouted out no. So I said, okay, thank you. I drove off to the next one. It was very nice of every GameStop to have the quantities that they were getting. That actually was a huge time saver because I could have sat or, or stood in line for hours. Uh, they opened up at 11. I could have stayed there for hours before, um, for nothing. With, with, with them telling me by the time I got there, oh, we have no more. This time I went to a mall um, this store had two Xbox Series X 
and zero Series S, and yet there's a line of like 10 people. So I, I told everyone, I said, look, they, they don't have any more. And then the people online were just like, well, let, we're just gonna stay just in case. In case of what? I, I don't know. So I wished them the best of luck and I was on my way. Then I went to this other one where uh, there wasn't even the thing on the door. So we don't even know. There was a whole line of people. I'm almost ready to give up at this point. I actually left and I thought about this one more game stop that is inside of a mall. I, I, where I live, there are several malls near me. It's really annoying and, and traffic is a pain, but um, I went to this, this is now I think the fifth store I went to, and the, this time the mall is closed. You can't even walk in and wait outside this closed GameStop. So I walked around this entire mall, checking for each mall door. One of them gotta be open, right? Because the employees work there. None of them were open. Apparently security is inside. There's pretty much one posted at every door. If you approach them and you let them know that you work there, they will open up the door and let you in. Otherwise, it's always locked. I see cars and people and they're just pulling up, doing the same thing I was, checking the doors to see if they're open and once they're not, they take off. Another gentleman pulled up. Um, this guy, I'm glad to have met him. He was actually uh, a previous game developer and he was now an app developer. So it was cool talking to him online. Really helped the time fly by. Then we met this other guy that pulled up and he actually worked there. I don't want to say sneak. He didn't sneak us in. He, he threw his connections of working there. He was able to get us inside. We we took a look at the GameStop poster. It said they had five Series X's. I think it said they had one or two Series S. So as long as we were one of the first five, we were good. And that's exactly what we were. So long story short, I did end up getting my Series X and I'm very happy. Now I have both pre-orders, the PS5 and the Series X, got them both from GameStop, got them in person. I know GameStop right now is canceling a lot of the people's orders that ordered them online. I feel really bad, I truly do. Uh, I was one of the lucky few that actually got to pre-order both the PS4, uh, PS5 and the Series X. I'm very happy. I will pick them up day one. I'm going to unbox them here for you guys. I'm also going to compare, contrast. We're going to take a look at the UI. We're going to, I don't know if we're going to compare third party games and things like that. I'll let the guys at Digital Foundry do that. They, they're very good at it. So, um, but at the very least, I'll give you my impressions and I will do my best to have those videos up first for you guys. Stay tuned. We're going to do all that here. So if you're not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, hit me up and uh, we'll talk. Yeah.